YouTubers, I got an XT Pro 6070. You probably got one look like that. If it's an XT Pro, just regular, it's the same deal here, but the operator's complaint is the hand control is slow. And it's only slow from the upper controls, I just confirmed that. I haven't actually flown the upper, but the lower controls were very fast. So we'll go ahead and check that. Oh, I gotta put the flow control valve into the upper. Okay. He's complaining about the lower boom being slow. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a dog. We can really improve upon that. Um, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna link this video uh, to how to repair these. But uh, one thing I just wanna make sure everybody does is when the operator says it's slow, you need to be able to put your harness on and follow all the manufacturer's uh, safety stuff and fly this and confirm that it's slow. Because in order to fix something, you need to know what it's, it's like when it runs slow and fast. So, Anyway, uh, I'm going to link this video to the repair one. So, With the magic of technology, here's me again. Here you go, Kenji. Thank you for that, Kenji. Now, after taking off that upper bowl shield thing and dropping the bucket flat by removing those upper pins, which right now is a great time to inspect my pins, by the way. I want to make sure they've... They're in excellent condition and that they, that they were locked. Uh, that's something we do on a daily basis anyways, but it's always good just to check that while we're here. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the problem. So, right here when I pull the trigger, you'll see that guy go down right there. You see that? Bang, it goes down. But I'm noticing, and I, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to do this. When I push on that thing that's going down with a flat tip screwdriver, it's actually gonna go down another, I don't know, let's say two or three millimeters, which doesn't seem like a lot, but that's a tapered spool on that valve, so it's gonna allow so much more oil to flow through the center of this valve. This is an open center hydraulic valve. And as I squeeze this trigger it allows oil to flow through the valve and if it doesn't get full depression right here and it's not because i'm squeezing the trigger and i pushed on it with a flat tip screwdriver or whatever pliers you got if it moves and goes down a little bit more um, that needs to be adjusted on this rod right here okay so right here is the rod that you need to adjust and they make this e very easy down there, you'll see it has threads right there. It also has threads right there. And it's left hand. Huh? Okay. Uh, hey, I'm filming a video. <laughs> okay, buddy. See ya. You too. Well, anyway, once you take the locking jam nuts off, the top and the bottom, you got your jam nut there, and you got a jam nut there. Crack them loose. One's, just, just remember, one's left hand and one's right hand. And you're gonna spin this, this rod here in a fashion to make it slightly shorter, okay? To get maximum depression on that. We want maximum push down on that. By spinning that rod, we're adjusting the linkage there. And while you're here, we're gonna clean up this entire uh, hand control. We don't like any kind of debris on our hand control. We wanna clean those daily, and it must have got away from this person, and I'll have a talk with him. But, by doing that, we just made our lower boom fly 20% faster, and we got happy trimmers now, and we got uh, more trees being beautifully cut all day and so on and so forth. Anyway, I thank you for watching. That, that's it. And, uh, see ya.